Hey, we're here at SeaWorld with Jack Hanna. Coming up, we'll be here in Animal Connections. World famous animal expert Jack Hanna is hanging out at SeaWorld with some critters this morning. That's right, Taya. Fox Fox's Rachel Shapiro is with Jack and his Motley crew now. Good morning, Rachel. What's going on over there? Good morning. We're here in Animal Connections at SeaWorld with Jack Hanna. Thanks so much for being here. Oh, well, it's good to be here today. I always like to have people come to SeaWorld and see all the great creatures, especially early in the morning like this. Especially earlier in the morning like this. And what do we have here, this little guy? This right here is a, uh, what is this little guy? A marmoset. This is a marmoset. The marmosets are found in Central and South America. Uh, they're very small primates, as you can see. Uh, I've seen these and filmed these in Brazil before. They live in little family groups of anywhere from 30 to 50 animals. They're a very important animal, but a lot of them, not just because of loss of rainforest, you can see they're, they're very small. Some people try and collect them as pets. Uh, some people in certain parts of the world even eat the animal and use the fur. But that's been stopped mainly. It's mainly now that the animals are all in certain little areas now where they are protected. Uh, it's a very, very important primate. They're a pollinator, which means that when they defecate after eating seeds or berries, that is important for pollination to different trees. Uh, they always, sometimes they have twins. They're about the size of a thimble when the little babies are born. They have a twin. That's yeah. the size. And what happens to that twin? You know, they, they will raise usually two, two babies, these animals. Wow. Yep, yep. And sometimes when she's pregnant, you can imagine how much. That's like about a third the body weight of this animal alone, just the babies. And it's first so soft, but can you actually keep this as a pet? Is that safe? No, no, it's, it's not good. You know, people don't, any primate for a pet is not good. Uh, primates, you know, and you're talking to somebody who had experience for 40 something years. These animals carry diseases, they bite, uh, they're very social. And there's many, many reasons why you shouldn't have a primate as a pet. It's a lot of work. People just think it's a little cute monkey running around on our shoulders, but that's not it at all. It's, it's, a, it's an obligation, that animal for life, and they need to be left where they are, or in places like beautiful habitats like we have here at SeaWorld or Bush Gardens or Columbus Zoo, those, those places. Okay, great. And so I know you love animals, but is there an animal that you don't like, maybe? One of a least favorite animal? Can you even think of one? No, you know, it's, it's not a matter of, of liking. The word dangerous is an animal we've given to animals, obviously. A rattlesnake's dangerous. Um, um, a dog can be dangerous. It's a matter of respect for animals that I have. So it's not a matter of, of lace liking any of them. I don't handle a lot of, I'm fascinated by cobras. Uh, I don't handle a lot of poisonous snakes now because I'm too old. You have to have the right, you know, makeup of that. So no, I, I like all creatures really. Um, just trying to think if I don't like them. I like everything. Great, me too. <laughs> okay, thanks Jack. Now Thank we're going to send it back to you guys in the studio. Thanks Rachel. And that about